I'm Keith from the Cooper Channel, and it's paleontology time! So welcome back to another episode of Friday Fossil Mystery. I hope your guys' Halloween was totally math, because, you know, mine's totes was. But I know it's over. I don't care, this is totally awesome. Anyway, let's move on to this week's fossil. So, it looks like we might have stumped you guys with this week's fossil, but that's okay, because that's how science goes sometimes. What this is, is a Pleistocene whale with holes in it created by burrowing clams. Sometimes what happens when a whale dies is it sinks to the bottom of the ocean and becomes what is known as a whale fall. Whale falls are mad important to paleontology because what they are are great studies in taphonomy. Taphonomy is a study of what happens to something after it dies, so since in paleontology everything we look at is dead, taphonomy and paleontology go hand in hand most of the time. So we know that the holes in this whale jaw was made by burrowing clams because we've got fossilized clams in it, but they could have been made by something else, maybe worms or something? And that brings us to our paleontologist of the week. Congratulations to Vincent Cantelli. Congratulations dude, you've got mad skills. So moving on to this week's fossil. This week's fossil comes to us once again from the Pleistocene of Orange County and belongs to one of the more larger of the megafauna. So that does it for this week's episode of Friday Fossil Mystery. Again, put your answers on our Facebook or Twitter page and please subscribe to the Cooper channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next week. What's that, Jake? Princess Bubblegum is in trouble. Ice King. Let's go.